beat me. I should I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, gotta fill the engine. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Yeah, yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together. Very important. I have to go. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. I miss you too. I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car stealing team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. What the 
fuck? Get that shit cracking, nigga! He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problem? Jack this thing. I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Hey, that shit. Hell of a car you got there. Line it up on the carrier, homie. My favorite gang bangers. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk through. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Aw, oh, shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't a good guy, he went out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar, above all else, a fucking liar.
Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. It was a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you was a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. What's Franklin doing over there? A uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Uh, ah! Sleep of innocence. So he like in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. Oh shit, what's that? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on the ride. What you gonna do, old fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset.
Chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. Procopio it is. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. 